Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan the final season part 2 episode number 8. Okay, the previous episode um a few things happened. Annie got out and he she was uh, kind of like you know taking uh Hitch as like a hostage you can say like you kind know, of threatening her to like let me out and um we see that Annie isn't able to like you know do much because he has she has been under the you know hardening for so long that she cannot do anything like her muscles are all just you know like weak and everything uh <clears throat> but uh you know by the end of it we see like you know he she said like i just want to get out of here i just want to go home and we get a little flashback of her and her dad um and we see that her dad in the beginning like you know she he she he kind of adopted her just because he wanted her to become uh the warrior so that he could have a better life uh, but by the end of it, we can see like he changed, you know, like and in the end the thing that he told Annie was come back home safely That's all I want. You like, no need to become like a hero or whatever. Just come back home and That's why like, you know, Annie's like main mission here is to just go back home and uh, Like in, in, and then like, you know in the in the real world We see like everyone's just panic thinking in the Marley like, you know territory and the actual like you know the officials the marlins they're just like not believing them and we see annie's dad there and i think like they shot at him i don't think he died maybe he just got grazed in his hand or something because they kind of cut it off in a weird way so i don't think he's dead i'm sure he's alive or maybe he's injured that's probably it we'll see and um then we shift to armin and mikasa and where mikasa is like troubled because she doesn't know what to do armin is troubled because he doesn't know what he should do as a leader and he's like Erwin would have done this a lot more better and then he's like okay like I need to go and stop Connie before he does something you know bad and all that stuff then we see the whole thing with Flosh where Flosh is just taking control of everything and like you know like uh, killing people as well just in front of everyone and um, like it's a chaos um and all these things were happening and uh like and by the end of it we see like you know, get a little bit of a surprise not surprise i was expecting this I, i'm sure everyone was expecting this i like i didn't think levi was dead levi is alive um so is hanji and i don't know what hanji's plan is he she just called peak and um magat so i don't know what her actual plan is like you know he just called them now why let's see this episode is probably going to answer that question so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number eight of attack on titan the final season part two i'll be putting the subtitles on the time i hear thank you to whichever is your preference let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go This is how it starts. Okay, it's Hanji. Oh, these guys. Oh, I remember them. They're the ones who. Okay. Wow. Pitching. Hmm. Damn, look at that. Ah. Oh. How's he going to open his eyes? I, I guess it's he cannot open his eyes now. Ah, oh, big sis. Thing he's doing is not okay. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Okay, this this whole thing. Yeah, it's 
Oh, he's awake. Okay. Okay, calm down. <laughs> well, a lot of things. Oh my god, it's fingers. Yeah. <laughs> dinner? Oh, never mind. I thought she was using making dinner. Hmm. Neither can Levi. Okay, he's awake. Oh, they're going to team up? I was not expecting this. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. They also don't have any choice, you know? They're like, what should we do at this moment? And it's going to destroy the whole... Hmm. Kind of. Hmm. <laughs> okay, um, this is an unexpected team. I, yeah, I think this is the best course of action for both of them. Like, not only Hanji, like, like what the hell is Magas and Peak supposed to do now? Like, they can't stop Aaron. Like, how? So unless and until they team up with someone and have like a concrete plan. Yeah, this is not happening. You know what I'm thinking? Oh my god, I feel like I can understand where this is going. Aaron is going to become the common common enemy to the whole world. And like everyone's going to stop him or something and that's how like everyone is going to reach peace like the marlians and the eldians and after they defeat eren who is the common enemy for the world you know working together the whole world could be at peace after that and they will be able to look past their differences oh my god i feel like this is going in that direction so eren will become the common enemy that means like he will become the sacrifice, you can say, for the peace, the whole world's peace. I think this is how this is going because there's not much episodes left. Like, how many? 12 or 13 episodes this season will have and this is the final season. Oh no. Right, okay. Oh my god, he's just traumatized. Yes. Ah. Reiner. What? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, he doesn't even know that. That's true. He doesn't even realize that he has. Hmm. 
Oh my god, they're here. Okay. Ah. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Something interesting. Wait. What the? Are they like covering? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, he was... He was... He was awake at that time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh boy. <sighs> oh no. Okay. Run, kid. Ah, no. Nah. Not with that face. That's, that's the face of a liar. Ah. Yeah, that's why, that's why you brought him up, up, up. Uh. You're a bad liar, Connie. That's why you brought him Okay, they're here. Ah. He doesn't even know how to do it. No time for explanations. Come on, Armin. Use your head. Something. No. What? Is he going to kill? I think so. But how? Wait, it's... Oh no. Is he like planning to jump in? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Well, he like I like Armin is basically now like he's thinking like I'm not worthy enough to inherit Armin's position. Yeah. There you go, as I said, that's bothering him. That's why he thought of jumping in.
10 ó. No translation. Anyways. Oh yeah, the scarf is good. Oh. The world. Wait, when? Oh, it's like... Lust in the line. <laughs> Damn, people are just not getting it. Oh my god. John is also there. One against the world. That's it's not that easy. Shut up. What who who is this? I I feel like John has some other ideas. He's like <laughs> he has some other plans. Damn, people are celebrating. My god, okay. Okay. Hmm. Wait, who the? What? What? The? Ooh, she wouldn't. Did she become the next Sasha or something? Wouldn't. Wouldn't. <laughs> Wait, where's Hitch? They. Oh my God. <laughs> You just leave her like that. I oh my god, I could have at least just <laughs> gloomy roommate. Nah. Yeah, like you could, you could have just waited, you know, a little bit. Yo, what the hell is this? Oh my god, you know what, John, please don't shoot.
damn she's not she's she's not even like you know no i don't think so oh my god Oh my god. What? Yeah, so why is he here? Oh, 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 so now you're okay. All right. Flush, you fool. Yeah. They under oh my god. Come on, John, don't oh what no. Come on, I I, I really hope this is shooting someone else. Point at him, point at him! Yeah, okay. Shut up, Flosh. You should get a smack in your face now. There you go, nice! Oh my god! Okay, wait, they grabbed them, I think. They just grabbed them, okay, it's fine. Oh, yeah, where? Oh, there she is. There you go. Oh, that was the signal. Nice. Wait, did they meet up with Peak and Peak and they were working? Are they working together? Like Peak and. Who is this? <laughs> okay, they're walking together for months. Well, she brushes her teeth when she's in human form. When did they meet? Again. Oh my god, John's whole thing. I'll talk about this later. Even... Even when he wanted to become a military police. He never chose uh, that path. <laughs> Where's Yelena? Oh, there she is. Oh, really? Why? Oh my god, it's best. Well, obviously. <laughs> and he's just <laughs> he's like am I dead am I finally in heaven or hell um <laughs> oh damn <laughs> Save the world. Alright. Yeah, I can understand where this is going.
and I don't like it, you know? It's like, Eren being the common enemy for this world is something... I don't know, I don't know whether I would like it or not. Oh boy. Like... Like, Eren feels like the punching bag of this, like, you know, this show, like... He had his moments and everything, but all the time he is the one who has to sacrifice something for everyone. And this is something I don't know if I would really ah like he seems like that. Uh, I don't know. Like I'm just guessing. I'm feeling like that's that's what they're going towards. Like you know, Eren being the common enemy and everyone, as we can see, the Marlians, you know, Magat, um, Peak, you know. And the Eldians, that is our team, you know, like um, the whole what's it, Mikasa, uh, John, uh, Connie, Armin, working together, both of them, to stop Eren. Like, that's basically what is happening. So, like, I feel like. Th True, like you know, in in the in the complete perspective of plot, this is a very interesting um turn or twist or whatever you call it, you know. But as a, in a personal uh preference, I don't like this the way this is going towards. Like in plot perspective, this is a solid plot. This is like an interesting way this kind of turned, and like the character that we always thought will be the hero, will be the person to save us, is actually the villain by the end of it. And like, oh my god, Attack on Titan is basically the, <laughs> the, uh, what do you call it, personification of the, the, the quote that either you die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself a villain. It's, it's basically the personification of that. And as, as a plot, it's interesting because this is like a different, unique take on the whole, like, you know, like the thing, like... I don't think we've ever seen an anime before where, like, the main hero, by the end of it, turns out a villain. I guess you can say I've heard of it. I've not seen Code Geass, you know, Code Geass, sorry, Code Geass. I've not seen it. Uh, I, I should probably react to it. Um, I've not seen Code Geass, but I've heard that Lulush is kind of a, a, a similar thing like that, does a similar thing like that. Like, by the end of it, he turns out a villain, you can say, I guess. I've heard of it. But, um, so yeah, that's why I'm saying, like, and this is, like, an interesting plot, like, you know, like, what do you call it? Like, an interesting way this is, uh, completely through plot's perspective, it's an interesting way it is proceeding. But in a personal way, I don't like this one, because it feels like Eren is probably just going to be the villain who everyone's going to defeat, and everyone will be like, yes, we saved the world. Like... It feels like Eren's just going to shoulder everything, and I'm really not happy with that. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know, and I, I think that's where this is going, you know? He'll be the common villain. I guess pretty apparent now, like, what else could, what could this go to, towards? Okay, so this episode, it was a very uh, positive episode, you can say. You know, everything went pretty well. You know, everything is going on pretty, you know, progressing in a very positive direction. Um, first we see... Okay, first we see how Hanji killed all of those people who... Uh, the Jaegerists, who tried to capture her and Levi. And uh, he, she kind of patched Levi up a little bit. And my god, like, you know, Levi's scar, like, it's just... I guess he cannot open his eyes unless and until the... They just cut off. And I, I doubt, I feel like he's... he's Obviously, his left, no, right, right, right eye is blind now, most probably. Like, it just gashed through it like this. I think it's, it's a pretty deep wound, and his eyes probably got affected or something. It probably, later on, I don't know, Levi's going to wear an eye patch or something after he gets... <laughs> After he like you know gets okay, gets better, that'll be cool. Levi with an eye patch. My God. <laughs> All right. Um. So Hanji is just there. He's she's like ah, what are we supposed to do? I was just going to let her rot, 
and then she hears the whole Aaron's proclamation I'm going to destroy the world and Levi also wakes up Levi is like yeah we are not going to stop here we're going to keep moving and I'm sure you also feel like that Hanji and Hanji's like yeah and after that I guess they kind of went and met with Magath and Peek and um their plan is you know what you help us out we'll help you out as well our uh, like, you know goal is killing Zeke and <clears throat> now here's the thing um they, they said that our goal is killing Zeke they never said anything about Eren like that's something that I can take in a more positive light because their their goal is Zeke. They I think they, they basically try to are going to try to stop Eren. Like if they kill off Zeke somehow, I don't know how they're going to do that. But if they kill off Zeke, the royal blood, the whole thing is going to get severed. You know, like the, the connection or whatever you call it. Um so maybe Eren will stop if that happens. I don't know. That's why I guess they kind of said like our goal is killing Zeke. And oh my god, Levi is pissed, like obviously. All these times, like, all the time, like he versus Zeke, it, it's it's always like a complete, like you know, messy situation. Zeke always lost, and then like finally in the final part, he just like you know gave him such a blow by using up his life that Levi is pissed. He's like, yeah, I'll get him. Like he's like that slippery eel who always just slips out of my hand, and this time I'm going to just grab him by the throat, and. <laughs> Yeah, like it's nice to see Levi is back to normal now. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's their plan. And Magat at the f at first Magat was just pointing the gun towards them, and like then like, obviously like Magat and Peak. What are they even supposed to do in this point? And is definitely going to destroy everything. So their best goal here, uh, uh best uh, you know way of proceeding this is team up with someone. Both of them can't do anything on their own. They need to team up with someone. And it's better if it's actually Levi, the Levi, and Hanji. Because these two are one of the best. So, yeah, I was just like, it, it was apparent. He was definitely going to take, like, you know, the, uh, like, you know, take their hand and start working with them. But here they did not show us what Magat's whole thing was. Uh, they kind of say in the end, like, his condition was taking Yelena back alive so yeah all right um then we shift to all of them sleeping jin jan is just getting tormented and like no one's happy <clears throat> connie um and falco and damn like so falco like heard him heard connie talking to him and they went to uh, the village. What was the name of the village? Anyways, I forgot the name. Ragako, yeah, Ragako. They come to the village and um, Falco's like, why are we here? And Connie shows him his mom. And oh my God, the lie. I'm like, <laughs> uh, like Connie's so getting tormented inside him. He wasn't even properly able to lie. He's like, Oh, I'm just here to brush her teeth. So can you help me out? And I'm like, like, dude, like, <laughs> like come up with a better lie. So you brought Falco up until here in on horseback just because you wanted his help to brush your mother's titan, uh, like titan mother's uh, teeth, like. <laughs> and Falco's also like, yeah that moment like i like I'm, I'm pretty sure he he realized at that moment that what's going to happen but you know like the whole tension field atmosphere and you know like him not being completely sure of the fact that yeah i'm really going to die here probably made him hesitate and like you know the whole situation was so tension filled and he was hesitating and that's when you know uh, armin and um gabi comes in now I guess like Armin and Gabi were able to reach here on time because I think they probably ran throughout the whole night. You know, like while they were taking a little bit of a rest, um, they they kept like you know going. That's why they were able to cover the extra distance. Most probably, otherwise they, they were very late to start following them. 
it's probably that they ran through the whole night and <clears throat> they come in and um, Connie takes um, Falco hostage everything's like you know like just going crazy Armin goes up and Armin here's the thing the whole thing that Armin did here it's obviously because number one he wanted to prove to Connie that yeah I can do this you know and number two I feel like there's this infinity complex working on him working on Armin where like we've seen him say before as well I'm not as good as Commander Erwin but I feel like at this moment he became so reckless because of that fact that he has this thing within him where he thinks like I'm not good enough um Commander Erwin did it like this I'm nowhere near that and like that's why he became so reckless with his life where he just jumped tried to jump into the mouth of the titan and um like yeah he I feel like like that, that he, he probably thought at that moment that I can only do this like this you know and if I die I die like that's what happens what happens you know like when you become so like what do you call it like less confident with it with yourself and you feel you know, something like that. you kind of get reckless with your life and I guess that's what Armin did here and he became so reckless but I guess Armin was always a little bit reckless you know like he, he always kind of you know in, in that scene as well where he just jumped in front of like you know like the, the, the colossal titan yeah when he got burnt that was like you know that also kind of shows how reckless he was to to complete his goal he was that reckless with his life and that's always been there in him i guess you know but still i guess uh erwin's the whole thing with erwin and his infinity complex was also a reason why he just just jumped at that moment Tony saves him and like obviously and then connie says like yeah what am i doing and my mom left like you know like bid me goodbye so that i could become a good soldier and i'm look at me here now just trying to sacrifice my friends and like you know just doing these kind of things without saving them and yeah it's nice to see like you know everything kind of went well over there thank god everyone's okay and then we get the whole scene with Mikasa and that girl and the girl was like I'm not uh, regretting my decision at all I decided to follow your uh, you know, like your path and I'm happy with that Mikasa doesn't even listen <laughs> my god uh, takes this scarf and just goes away okay and now you know what I feel like this this whole scene uh, where Mikasa and that girl was talking and the girl said that I follow this on my own and I don't have any regret. I feel like this scene has a sig significant bigger impact on Mikasa. This whole thing probably made Mikasa decide that yeah, just like this girl, how she says like I did this on my own, I don't regret it. I'm also going to do what I think is good at this position. I don't regret like like they're in the same position you know like he always followed Mikasa Mikasa always followed um Eren and this is like I, I guess like this is a significant scene for her because she probably decided at this moment after hearing her that yeah I'm also going to do what I feel is the best and I will not regret like up until now he was she was just fidgeting and she was just like oh am I doing everything okay Aaron, Aaron is mad at me like you know should I do this this and that just asking everyone what should I do what should I do but I don't know I feel like this scene probably gave her that uh, power that decision making power or just a sec whatever you call it to take the decision that yeah I'm going to do what I feel is the best and that's why you know like that's why in the after that i guess she came up with that not she came up with the plan but she decided to go in on that plan that we see after this at, at, at almost at the end you know them all working together so yeah i feel like this scene was a bigger like it was a very short scene you know like the, in the anime we can see it it was like barely like a minute or two the whole scene with uh Kasa and the girl but i feel like it had a bigger significant impact on mikasa and she decided that yeah like even if everyone like you know like even if Aaron tells me that you know you're not free you're doing this not because of uh like you know like as a friend but because you're an Akkar man even if he says that I don't care I'm going to do what I do uh what I feel like like you know what I, what I feel is the best 
And I guess from here onwards, the plan was in motion because Jun just stands there like that, you know, behind Floss. Floss just giving the um, speech. And Mikasa just staring at Jun. Jun just staring at Mikasa. Probably they had everything planned out by that time. Most probably, I think so. Now, okay, and then we shift to, oh my god. <laughs> Connie and... Uh, Connie Ar and Armin, they're just eating. And... <laughs> Armin is like, oh, if, uh, like, the hardness has been undone, Annie should also be out now. And Annie's just beside them, munching on the food. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Like, you know, did, did she, like she, she's acting like Sasha. <laughs> like, it's stuffing food in her mouth like that. I guess she was hungry, obviously. And Connie had a, has a great laugh. He's like, haha, look at you. <laughs> okay, now I feel bad, a little bit bad about H. Like, it feels like everyone just leaves her. <laughs> just like that, just leaves her hanging. Like, the whole thing with, I forgot the guy's name. Who who sacrificed himself in the whole thing with Erwin, and that and now this like, like Hitch is just like what the hell like I brought this for you as well huh? I can't I don't complete this on my own I feel a little bit bad you know like I guess they didn't have enough time but I don't know you could have at least just waited you know a little bit and. As I said, they probably did not have enough time, you know, they were, that's why Annie just wrote a letter. But still, it, you know, it's a little, little bad for Hitch. Everyone just leaves her without saying anything. <clears throat> and yeah, like Hitch kind of, you could say, like Hitch kind of had like a little bond with Annie, you can say, like because she was like, you know, under his, her care for so long under her watch and she used to come here and just blabber about his her own problems to Annie and you could say like you know they probably like both Annie like Annie was also kind of aware of this both Annie and uh, Hitch kind of you know started a bond like you know and they they were close because of that but yeah it's just sad nothing you can do about it all right and then the scene of Flosh Jan Yankopon and Yelena and Flosh is just just you know doing his thing giving grand old speeches saying like oh this is Yelena look at her you know, he she tried to you know use not use but help Zeke and use us to get her own goal and Zeke's own goal so we're going to kill her uh, this is Oyankopon he did nothing wrong, you know, he was really helping us, but we're going to kill him as well because he said that he won't uh, go according to our plan. And wow, what, uh, ah, like, I don't know, like this, this is what, what, what the world has come to, you know, like you listen to me, everything's all well and good. You don't listen to me. Who the hell are you? Just shoot him. That's basically what, what, what this world is going towards. And all the people who are just, like, you know, just standing there like a mob mentality and just saying like, oh yeah, kill them, kill them. Oh boy, they are also some special type of people because I'm pretty sure if, you know, this is a big if, I doubt this is going to happen. If Aaron actually destroys the world, these are the people who will be living. And I'm sure someday, like, you know, or the other in the future they're probably going to start fighting against each other and yeah they're, they're basically like going to kill 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 themselves as well like just fighting within each other like in fighting and everything that's basically what's going to happen because these people are dangerous like you know that the way their minds work is insane they they feel like they're the people who everyone should be listening to you know like power makes people mad and i guess that's basically what happened here like power just made them mad here and they're just like yeah like they didn't that this person didn't listen to us just shoot him and great like oh boy i don't know like i doubt and like you know i don't think that's going to happen and it's going to destroy the world obviously that's not going to happen that's pretty apparent because 
as I said, like this is going towards the direction where Edwin will be the common enemy. Everyone else is going to defeat him. That's basically what's happening here. But if some, I don't know, parallel universe, and if actually destroys the world, oh boy, this world is going to be a very bad place after that because these people will be the majority of it. I don't know what Aaron is going to do after that. You know, after destroying the world, what what is he going to go do? Retire? You know, like Aaron just retires. He's like, yeah, like finally, like you know, <laughs> I've 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 destroyed the world now. It's my retirement phase, and he just goes to a I don't know, like some. <laughs> forest or something just living his life peacefully <laughs> oh my god i feel like that'll be a good spin-off manga <laughs> Aaron just retires and goes to the forest and <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyways um i went in a very different direction um so yeah <laughs> okay flush um yeah so he He's just like, you know, he's like, yeah, I'm going to shoot this person. Oyankopan is just crying. He's like, yeah, you people are worst. You know, you, you just like, just like my home, like, you know, my home is going to get destroyed. And everything's like, you know, like this is happening. Even after I helped you guys so much, you're doing this. And he even like, you know, looks to John and he's like, John, just do something. And I, I was sure John had a different plan over there. I was a little bit still like, you know, there was a little bit of a hesitation in my heart i was like maybe he is actually going to shoot or maybe not but yeah then when he shot four times in the ground i'm like yeah he has some other plan and that's what happened that was like the signal and <clears throat> now like, i wonder when they made the plan like so that means peak and everyone just met after that and they made this plan i wonder when that happened probably within these few days um Okay, P comes in in her, in her Titan form and just grabs John and, you know, like uh, Oyankopon and. Uh, what's her? Yelena, Yelena, yeah. Just grabs them. And I feel like Flosh would have been killed at that moment. Like the way P just shot at him, <laughs> John just shoved him away. Like, damn. Oh, boy. I, I, you know what? I feel like. Ish, like I don't know, I feel like, like, at least Flosh deserved at least one whack in his head. I think he deserved that. Like, I don't know, like, I would have been happy if John just whacked him in his head, you know, and just then, like, took off with the God Titan. That would have been kind of nice, you know? Like, <laughs> anyways, I'm sure he'll get his deserved punishment later on. Flosh. And I wonder what he's going to do now. Like, you know, like he has no people to kill now. Like, what's he going to do? Poor Flosh. You know? <laughs> no more speeches. Uh, but I guess he's going to probably... Uh... Anyways. Okay, so... Yeah, and then we see, like, everyone's just working together. Like, you know, the, the Connie's team. Uh, Annie's here. And, you know, like, Gabi. Casa is also here. And... Yeah, now they come to a like safe place and Car Titan just like, takes them out, takes uh, Oyankopon, Yelena and John out. And this scene is kind of interesting, you know, like here uh, Oyankopon says like, oh, you, if you wished you could have just stayed there and lived a better life. And damn, this scene, like, <laughs> this is like season one where John decides to not go into the military police, not choose the uh, like, you know, safe and the happy, good life and actually struggle and um yeah this really shows like as a, in a as a core person jun is still the same you know he 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 I, I guess he was a little bit cranky at the beginning but then as he changes like you know he, he he's really this type of a person like where he always like i guess he gets the chance to go and choose the easy method but the easy method would be would mean that you will just become a puppet and do nothing you know you'll just become a useless person that's basically the easy way out in in attack on titan and he could have always chose that and just had a good life you know but no he, he chose the different difficult path difficult but the correct path this time as well and good for him you know it, it took the wrong, right decision both the times. <clears throat> and Yelena's like, why did you save me? And I, like, Margot is just looking at her. 
I don't know why Magath told them to bring Yelena back alive. We'll see. Okay, and then Reiner just like you know like, <laughs> and he just comes and just whacks Reiner. <laughs> They're like, okay, we're we're all allies here, you know. Let's go save the world, and that's where it ends. So yeah, I guess that's what's going to happen. Eren will become the common enemy. The whole world, that is Marlians and the Eldians, everyone is going to help Rob defeat him, and the whole world will be at peace. That's where this is going, I think. And again, as I said, as a plot, from the plot perspective, it's unique and it's interesting as well. But in a personal opinion, I don't like this the way this is going. So basically, Aaron is just going to become a sacrifice for the whole world. To think of it that way. Ah, uh, but let's wait. You know, I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, this is just a guess. So. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Attack on Titan, the final season, part 2, episode number 8. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. Yeah, that was it. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Attack on Titan, the final season, part 2. Until then, goodbye, and have a nice day.